All right, guys, we got another edition of Engine Can Man Reviews. Man, we got the Tropical Mango Ghost on this one. Um, I was able to find a couple more other Ghost uh, product line um, energy drinks. Uh, from what I see, there's like, let's see, I got two down here. So there's like, so there's about like six kinds of energy drinks. Uh, Ghost, I know off so far. Um, I don't know if they got any more or not, but maybe I'll check that. Maybe they've checked the website to see if they got any more or not. But um, I'm pretty excited about this one, Tropical Mango. I'm a mango guy, so I do like tropical flavors. So uh, let's see. I want to show you this one got any any juice in it. But um, I like I said, you know, with the uh, ghost, the meat are pretty much uh, about the top of the line uh, for the uh, energy drinks. Between them and C4, they're pretty much tip of tap. Um, a 16 ounce can. It got natural artificial flavors. Uh, let's see. It's got zero sugar for this. This is the main reason why I like the can. It's zero sugar for a can, of course, zero fat, but uh, zero artificial flavors, so it'd be clear like C4 and transparent labels. Uh, no. uh, let's see. It's 200 milligrams of natural caffeine, 100 milligrams of um, Nero factor. Uh, 150 milligrams of alpha GPC, 50%, 100%, four daily vitamins, uh, 1,000 milligrams of com, uh, compur and carnitine, um, carnitine or tartan or terrine. They're both at 1,000 milligrams, like I said, the natural caffeine, 200. I'm probably repeating this on just on the other side. But see, then it's also got the Nero Factor coffee, which is another 100, which is fruit extract. So really, you got like 300 milligrams of caffeine. Because 200 of it is natural coffee, like, you know, they get from coffee grind. And then the other one from a, a fruit extract. So they find something else that has another plant. I can't probably think of it on top of my head. Again, they got root extract at 25. Uh, vegan free, uh, gluten free, soy free, and sugar free. And these are all, uh, where did they say this is this driven from? Oh, they got a website I can go on to. Now here, let's see here. Well, they got a lot of preserved it in it. Free to strike. Nah, I don't see nothing that's showing, um, like, they use, uh, food coloring, I mean, to get the flavors out of it, but, uh, oh, it does got 30 milligrams of, uh, sodium, total carbohydrates is one gram, and that's it, only got five calories, so, pretty excited about this, actually, that's the main reason I get these, I prefer these, because this thing, like, I, I noticed, um, Drinking the sugar ones all the time, like you really do gotta watch your weight. When I, well, your weight, what you eat, cause it's just you're getting so much of that from a, a can of soda that you don't, you know, you gotta watch what you eat because you normally you would have got that from your food or something like that. Cause yeah, like the um, I don't have, I can't eat no salt with the uh, like all the sugar ones. It's just so much sugar, or I can't really try to eat nothing sweet, and then. And then, like I said, it's hard like taste it not to eat and stuff like that. And then when you get any drink, so all right, look at there, clear it can be, son. Mm, that smells real good. Oh wait, I still got the fizzle on it. I don't know if y'all really see that, but it's just fizzing all over. It got a little hint of a yellow to it, but I know that all the ghosts kind of got that little hint of yellow to it. Let me see if I can get a here for y'all. But I was saying, so it's not clear as C4, but it's still to me, still pretty darn good. So I think they've done a pretty good job with the product line and everything. Yeah, I think it's just right. Yeah, it <laughs> uh, well, 
only way I know how to describe this beer is it, is it tastes like Pirate Bay mango flavored rum. That's what it tastes like. I mean, that's what it is. tastes like. It tastes like, or some Bennett, you know, Bennett vodka mango flavored rum. You know, or, oh, no, they got it. Is it vodka or rum? I can't remember. But, um, yeah, it is vodka. But, yeah, they, it tastes like sheep vodka rum, Bennett, or really, me, it tastes like the Pirate Bay mango rum. That's exactly what this tastes like. Yeah, it's got a chunk of dry fast in your mouth. I mean, it's got a real strong, like, mango taste, but there's, like, other flavors going around in your mouth. But that main kind of takes up the majority of it. I don't know. I was hoping this was going to be a better flavor than I thought it was going to be, but it didn't. I mean, it's not a bad flavor, but I don't know. It's just, it killed me when they got these drink that kind of tastes like they need, you know, something else in them. Yeah. I'm not sure on this one. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5 on the energy level. You know, like I said, with these guys, they seem to be real strong. Oh, high octane energy drink. I, I took a very big uh, drop there on the tropical mango there. Oh, and this is uh, also uh, Ghost Flying Stand. Ghost the only can that do it where they put the uh, seal on and uh, heat it and it sucked to the... Uh, to the can. Uh, fun fact, it's really cool if you go shoot these, like I don't keep my can, I save a, I get to pile them up, and I go out in the yard, I get uh, the shotgun with the boy, and then we target practice with these. So I don't keep them or nothing more. So and it's really cool when you shoot one of these with a bird pellet shot or somebody, like man, it's just really cool seeing how all this stuff just shreds all the pieces and everything, but it stays together. So that's a cool little fun fact on this one. But, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put that taste at. It's just like I like it, and then I don't like it. It's kind of eh. with it. Oh man, what should I put it at? Man, why did it have to taste like mango room? Oh man. I don't know, I want to give it like a 6.5. Like, it's not bad, it tastes good, but I don't know, why they had to taste like rum? Like, that's my thing with it. Well, that's all I got on the um, Ghost uh, Tropical Mango here, so we're going to give it a 6.5 for the taste. Like I said, 9 for the uh, energy level. As far as that, like I said, got everything in it. And then, like I said, I just like these so much more because it's, like I said, zero sugar, zero, like, not a lot of sodium, all the other junk. It just want to kind of give you the B vitamin uh, and the caffeine and all that stuff, the stuff you do want from the drink. Now, I do want to say, uh, like I said, stay tuned. I got the other two. We're going to show these. But like I said, we're going to do try flavor. Well, I'm going to tell you, this will be the last one I do. This Orange Dream. Uh, I tried a monster orange, uh, like a dream pops, same kind of deal with that, and I just couldn't finish it. I mean, it was a good taste, just like what it said, but I, I just I was not in the mood for a dream sickle pop, orange dream sickle pop, or whatever you want to call it. Now, I am curious, I am gonna compare them two and see which one I like better. The one that had a bunch of sugar in it. Or the one that's just you no know, zero everything in this one, like this one, and then we just got good old citrus. I think this one should be pretty good. So, like I said, you want to stay tuned and watch. The, you know, I'll do reviews on these pretty soon. But please like, subscribe, comment, share. Gotta get it out. I know there are people drinking drinks all the time, and like I said, I mean, you know, some of them I gotta say they're good for you, and some of them they now nah, you might want to stay away from them. 
But other than that, y'all have a good day.